am so tired. This is like my eighth cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Trans Tuesday. Today I kind of wanted to do a different style video, more talking about an experience that I had but also giving some advice on what happened and like what I think people should do in this situation. Basically, the topic of today's video is being misgendered at work. Now, don't get me wrong, my job is weird but I love the people that I work around and I love the environment and I love the company. But the other day when I was working, one of my coworkers misgendered me and basically here's the story of that. We were all talking, joking around, me and two other coworkers and my male coworker said something and he's like, yeah, I wouldn't take advice from ladies or something like that. Now, keep in mind that Everybody I work with knows my pronouns. Everybody I work with respects my pronouns. So this was kind of a shock, but not a total surprise. I thought it was just him trying to pick at me, but it hurt. It still hurt. Being misgendered always hurts, especially when it's by someone who knows your pronouns. So obviously I was upset, and then I started to get a little angry. And I was also very hostile, because I was just starting to warm up to this guy after working here for a couple months but that had basically ruined all the progress. And then I think my other coworker texted him or messaged him or something, and he ended up paging me over the loudspeakers to call up to his register. So basically I called up to his register and I was really worried and like really hostile, but the first thing he said to me was, Riley, I am so sorry, did not mean anything bad about that, and to be honest, I just totally slipped up and that it was not an intentional thing. And then he said, I realize it's a sensitive subject and I'm really trying to not screw up. And by, just by the way he was talking, I could tell that it was a sincere apology. As a trans person who deals with insensitivity a lot, I feel like we have a good handle on when someone's being sincere and when they're just joking around and being like, oh, I'm gonna screw up again just to piss you off. But no, he was actually really kind and really sincere about it, and it was like an honest apology, and I forgave him because if it's an honest accident, I don't have a problem forgiving somebody. And then we went back to our work day and it was fine. I feel like it's the responsibility of the person who screws up to apologize no matter what. Now if you're in a conversation and you're with other people, if they screw up and say she, if they correct themselves and they go like, oh sorry, he, and then continue, I think that's better than making a scene. But in the situation where it was just the three of us and he ended up calling me privately and saying he was sorry. I also don't know what this lighting is doing and my camera's being really weird. Okay. And with that, I forgave him. I don't see a problem forgiving people when it's sincere. So basically, I think the moral of the story that I'm trying to get at is that accidents do happen. And especially for me, something that I've had to grow and realize is that I do not present very masculine. I identify as male and I use male pronouns but my presentation is very androgynous. And with that partnered with the fact that I'm chunky and overweight is basically what accentuates my figure and the feminine figure. And so when people misgender me like that, it makes sense. And it's just an accident that happened because of stereotypical gender roles. Obviously gender roles are not gonna go away, at least not completely. So we gotta try and tolerate them as best we can for right now. And if this happens to you and they do apologize without causing a big scene, accept the apology. And I know it can be very difficult and I know it can be hard and I know it can like really annoy you and I know it can be really annoying to have to accept an apology like that, but I feel like it's necessary to continue on in the workspace, and if someone sincerely is apologizing, I don't see an issue. As long as they say that they're not gonna do it again or try not to do it again, and they're sincere about it, forgive them. And the last piece of advice I have is to move on. This is not the only part of your life, and it's probably not the only time that's happened before, and it doesn't do well to dwell on things like this that make you upset. Just look towards the positive of, oh, they apologize, they're really sorry then they did this and I'm livid. I feel that way it'll keep you in a better mood and everybody else will not be 
hostile or weird. But that's just what I've gotten from my experience from being misgendered at work by a co-worker. I hope it doesn't happen again, and it was still fairly recent, but if it does, and it's the same kind of situation, I won't have a problem apologizing, and I suggest you do the same. Obviously, this is all your choice if you choose to follow this advice or listen to my story. I just feel like it's better for all parties to cause the least amount of stress. And that's all for this little advice story time video thing. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Have you ever dealt with something like this or something really awkward happened to you at work? Let me know. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week. I post a trans education video, sometimes like this, sometimes like another, every Tuesday. And I post kind of like a stereotypical vlogger, like, random video on Thursdays. So that's two videos a week coming your way. And if you'd like, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle, literally everywhere. All of my links to all of that social media will be below. And news, I'm starting a blog. How cool is that? Not like a Tumblr, but like an actual, like, righty photo blog. It'll be good. I'm excited for it, and I hope you are too. The first post should be up by the time that this video comes out, and if it's not, shame on me. I will put the link to my blog below. And if you don't want to go down to the description box for whatever reason, my blog is found at therileykyle.com. That's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I think I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Hi, autofocus. Hi. <laughs> I look so gross. <laughs>